Hi hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to attempt to fit this. So I had an old um, Van Volt Stack XL and uh, the amount of power tools I'm buying now and stuff that I'm keeping on me on the van during the day and whatnot. I need the room for another one. So I got in contact with Van Volt and they told me that there's the, the new one out, the new uh, Stacker XL. And there's a few modifications and changes. So uh, it's got new sliders on the side, I don't to see them. It's got new runners on the side, which is a quick release if you want to pull the uh, the drawer out. Unlike this one, where it's the drawer over here, uh, you've got to undo these two um, bolts. We have to oh, that was loud to slide the drawer out. Before it was just on two little runners um, underneath. Unlike now with the uh, the attachments, it comes with a new style bolt, which is the um, anti theft bolt for bolting them down. Uh, also what's new i'll show you in a minute but under here the existing one was these just i screwed these i, I made these holes here but these bolt holes just for screwing it to the floor the new ones have now big circle ones with reinforced metal around it to make it more secure so what my plan is today is sort of show you ish how to attach this to the bottom of your van safely securely without damaging anything underneath and then i'm going to bolt my old one on top uh, purely the fact the new one's got better fixings for the ground and this one will then just bolt through this through these two uh, on the top and then redo a bit of racking around it so uh, let me take this drawer out let's get a measurement I've took my racking out mostly here I'm going to, have to take this leg out measure out and then fingers crossed I'm just going to do some racking on top with some cable drums sat on top so uh, open a bit of free space up right so what I've done I've just put some wood screws at the moment I've taken these caps off the one below just kept them safe uh, put these through. I've put this against. This is where I'm going to put it just so it's mm, half inch away up at the top here from the metal just so it doesn't squeak and rattle. Stuck a level on it, cross. So I'm going to get the multi tool, I think, and just slice that across right to the back. Get this in position. Uh, this is what I mean by this is the old one. These are the holes that I made originally. I mean, originally this was at the back, and originally I measured out, so I made sure I didn't hit anything underneath, but I just put whack off wood screws in it, grounded the bottom off, put some silicon around just to, to seal the hole underneath so no water got up. Got up? Got up. Um, but this one's not going to do it properly. These are the new plates, definitely reinforced uh, from what it was before. These are the runners, nice bet, ball bearing ones, obviously non-existent on the one before. Uh, it's a bit more reinforced underneath compared to this one. Uh, it just feels a lot smoother, a lot nicer to be honest. Um, and I'm looking forward to start using it, to be honest, because it's uh, it's going to make a world of difference, especially when I've got it in position and it's uh, a bit more usable. I'm going to I bought some rubber matting. I'm going to stick some rubber matting down. Originally, I had carpet, but I cut a bit out the back from when I put the vault in originally. So now I've got a big square missing. So I thought, sod it, buy some rubber matting, get that down. Got my lights fixed, sorted. So I'm going to cut that back, push this back, mark the floor, do a pilot bit in a bit that I 100% know underneath there is nothing there so i'm not going to damage anything and then i'll just do measurements off that to make sure we're in and around the area if not it needs to be moved over a couple of inches forwards back sideways to make sure it's not near anything so let me get this bit cut and i'll uh, and i'll pop back right that doesn't look too bad not the neatest cut in the world but multi-blade uh, multi-saw wasn't the best option to use but uh multi-tool sorry I'm going to stick some silicone around, that'd be fine, absolutely fine. Um, next thing, I'm going to get some measurements off. Uh, I'm obviously going to do one one hole, one bolt for each corner. So I'm going to get a measurement roughly, it's not going to be 100%, from this hole to the back of the van, just so I can lie tape on the floor, have a look, see if there's anything visible. I've already had stuck my head under there, it is quite empty over here, so I'm just going to triple check. So I'm going to get that measurement now pop under the van, have a look, if I'm happy with it, just do a small pilot bit down below, see if I can see it, and then I'll get a square measurement uh, backwards, sidewards, and backwards again, um, make sure there's nothing in the vicinity, and then I'll be happy to then, if everything's clear, start making some bigger holes. Okay, right, the issue I have is these two here, the front, there's two, obviously there's a rectangular square frame that the, the whole van is built upon. These two are directly on top of it. I can't push it that way anymore because it's on the back of the van. If I pull it this way, it's the exhaust and the exhaust shield's all in the way. About here, but the shield then goes round. 
So that is directly in the center of the struts, but the struts are hollow upwards. I've checked with the camera, there's nothing in there at all. Ideally, I'd love to put the big bolts in. It's not gonna happen unless I relocate the, the, the vault somewhere else, but this is where I want it. This is perfect position. It leaves me with the side sliding door and the back door open. So I'm gonna get some uh, self-tappers. I've got some really big self-tappers. I'll probably just put it in both ends um, alongside doing a gob of silicon on it. But I will drill the back ones. They're accessible, nice space, get some bolts through that. So I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna do a pilot bit at the back ones now, just triple check them and then um, I'll get my uh, self tappers out and we'll, uh, we'll whack these in. That drill bit is <laughs> too far up. Hang on. Is there? You can see that on the camera. So happy with that. That's the nearest one. The measurement for the next one is going to be around here or here. Hopefully, we're just missing the support. Um, so I'm going to bang that one in as well, and we'll have a look underneath. Right, these are the bolts they've given me. These are the M10 uh, anti-theft bolts. So what you do is that gets tightened up and when it gets to a certain torque this top bit snaps off so you're left with the dome bit that's already at full um, full tension so realistically if that's on the outside underside of your van and it's just that dome you physically can't do it so I'll put these two in the back um, I, you like to say ideally you'd like to get them all in unfortunately for this one I can't do it so I'm going to get a, a timber hole I've got um, a cone bit I'll put that through there and uh, we'll poke these up Right, so the hole's are the right size now. All I'm going to do, just before I lift up this, I'm just going to do a big mound of silicon on here. Big mound of silicon on here. That's just going to stop any water coming up uh, at some point. You know, rainy day with the, uh, the, the tyres kicking it up. Just be on the safe side. Blob here, blob here. And I'll do the same thing for the other front too. That one's poked down. That one's poked down. So I'm just going to go under the van. Can't really take the camera there. Uh, bolt them up. I'm going to put sticks and mole grips around this now, tighten them up so they can't twist from up here. That gives me a chance to tighten them up underneath, snap the, uh, the anti-theft uh, ring off, drop that down, then I'm just going to put some self-taps in these ones, uh, stick a bit of silicon in here as well just before I do it. Um, so yeah, I'll back in a sec. Mole grips around just attached in place just to hold that secure for me. So I'm going to tighten that one and I'll do the same thing with the other one. Right, so let me see if you can see this. <sighs> That is now the bolt domed off. There's no way you can get that off um, unless someone attacks it with an angle grinder, to be honest. But let's be honest, you'll hear that. But this is the little anti theft lock that snaps off. The other one snapped off as well. So, uh, yeah. Right, these are all lined up. Self tappers are in. Silicon under there. That is literally not moving anywhere, which I'm happy about. Last thing is to connect the top vault to the bottom vault. Uh, I've got some 8.8. .8 uh, bolts and some uh, big penny washers so obviously they're going to go on there there's a threaded bar nut welded on the inside of these that will feed up underneath through there um, bolt through jobs are good um, these didn't come with the vault so you've got to buy these separately I just had a spare you know, array of crap really so uh, I'm going to get these on bolted on and then I'm going to run through the uh, how to attach and detach the drawers with the new slider to take the drawers out it's a bit of a faff but it's doable once you've done it once or twice. so obviously we pull them straight out there's a tab here you push this one up and it lets you slide it out more do this on the other side it's reverse push it down pull it out fully and then if you lift it up again push the drawer back in that then slides back and allows you to pull the drawer all the way out and then obviously to reinsert it just slides forward, it clicks back into place.
Right, I'm fairly happy with it. It's not going anywhere, it's sturdy, secure, I can build some stuff on it. Stuff that does come with it, you get the instruction manual, which obviously tells you how to take the lock out, put it back in, how to fit it, stuff that I've just explained on the slider. Comes with two sets of keys inside and also a key in it as well. So there's three keys with each vault. I just need to uh, get some, um, what they call the, the silicon sleeves to, so I know which one's which. So obviously I've got, they look identical keys on my key ring. So uh, this is my set for my top one at the moment, which is pretty identical to the other one. So. So I hope you guys did actually find this useful because I know a lot, a lot of people are getting these now. If you haven't seen me with the video, this vault saved my, uh, got about three thousand pounds worth of power tools getting stolen about five months ago. I've done another video if you if you look back at my video history. Um, cracking piece of kit. They're not that expensive. Um, I do take most of my tools out every single night now after to, uh, after the situation. But someone tried to crowbar it. There's no damage. They couldn't get in. It was it was solid. So. Uh, I really, really rate them. I would love one of the long, uh, the thin slider ones for the back, but I think I'm being a bit greedy now. But uh, yeah, highly, highly rate them. So I know it's a bit off topic from my usual uh, sparky videos, but um, you know, everyone's got a van. Most people got a van. Everyone's got tools they need to protect. It's well worth the investment. I really, really recommend them. So uh, if you did like the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.